Some states are seeing positivity rates that are far better than ours. Our seven-day positivity rate sits at 36 percent, but some states in the northeastern part of the country are seeing rates below 5 percent. Dr. Jeff Potoff with UW Health joins us now to talk about that. And Doctor, this is, is very confusing because it's amazing. These states are so low. Are we doing something wrong in Wisconsin to not get our numbers around 5% or below, which is where we want to be? Yeah, I think there's a couple of reasons we may be seeing that difference. Uh, I think one is some of those locations, i.e. the Northeast, they got hit hard very early. Uh, and it's likely that most people who live in that area know someone or were personally affected by COVID-19, uh, which then makes them more likely to follow mitigation strategies that have been put forth versus say some like some place like the Midwest where you know we are in the midst of our surge right now uh, a lot of people haven't had that personal experience. They may not be as willing to follow mitigation strategies uh, because they haven't known someone who's had COVID or passed away from COVID. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Dr. Potoff, we've of course heard news of a possible vaccine. That will be a game changer. Can you talk about the challenges of getting the masses immunized? Because this will be a, a daunting task, let's face it. Yeah, I mean, it's great news that we're getting uh, promising results from some of these vaccines. But, you know, as we look at the lift that it takes to uh, pull up large scale vaccination programs, uh, you know, there's issues such as refrigeration. How do you keep this stuff cold as it's traveling from one part of the country uh, to the other? Uh, who's actually going to administer it? Uh, is it, you know, public health clinics? Is it health systems? There's a tremendous amount of coordination that needs to happen uh, in order to do that. Uh, and then, you know, as the supply chain is ramping up, it will initially be limited. Who gets it? Uh, we really need to look at who's going to benefit the most from that. Is that uh, healthcare workers who we need to stay healthy to be on the front lines, people who are more likely to have bad outcomes, elderly, those with comorbid conditions. Uh, so just so many details that need to be worked out, even if we do have a safe and effective vaccine uh, in the coming weeks to a month. Well, Dr. Jeff Potoff, always good to talk to you and to get to your insight. We appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir.